All right, what's going on guys? It's Sam here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to drop step in NBA 2K21 and how to get the best animations to trigger when you attempt the drop step post move. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Pull up to door swerve, ay, pull up, pull up, pull up. Yeah, ay, pull up to door swerve, and back in the day I was wordless. Started from the surface in the middle of the desert with a weather hot enough to break a motherfucking thermos, nigga. Ay, look at the flick of my yeah. wrist. Forget... Now, why should everyone know how to perform this drop step move? Well, drop steps aren't only good for centers and power forwards and like the giant seven foot paint beasts that rule the 1v1 courts. No, this move can be extremely, extremely effective if you have a height strength or even a weight mismatch at any position in the game even point guards and shooting guards if you have a height strength or a weight mismatch this move can be very very effective when going one-on-one -on -one in the post now it also can be effective too if you know your defender has poor or below average defensive ratings or they don't have any post you know post defending badges but well, going ahead and getting right into the drop step tutorial here, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, obviously, how to drop step in NBA 2K20. And that's obviously not the animation you want to look for every time there, but I have to get a repost up here. So what you want to do, guys, is hold the L2 button once you get the ball, you know, it's probably going to be from an entry pass. And I recommend holding R2 to get position. It's Position is very key when performing this drop step move. So I'm going to hold R2 or sprint while... Uh, holding L2 to, you know, get an aggressive back down animation against Ivica or Ivaka Zubak here with Brook Lopez. And once you get position, you want to get as low as you can, probably, you know, in the restricted zone right here. And you're going to press the left stick as I'm moving right here. You're going to press the left stick towards the hoop. And whichever hand the ball is in, that's obviously the, uh, the side you're going to try to seal off your defender. That's what a drop step is. You're trying to seal off your defender. So we're going to go ahead. I'm holding L2, and I'm going to press the left stick towards the hoop and I'm going to tap the square button. So I'm going to keep repeating this. I have clips I'm probably going to mix in here as well so I can show you guys ideal, ideal, uh, you know, seal off animations. But as you can see, I'm pretty sure Zubak here does not have like post move lockdown where he has low strength or I think Brook Lopez has drop step or two. So that's why this move is just so effective against him. He hardly ever blocks me. And as I've been trying to record this and yeah, it's just very effective, especially uh, since I have more strength than Zubak, it, it looks like. I have Drop Stepper probably on Gold or Hall of Fame. I missed there because I didn't go up with it right away. And Zubak probably doesn't have post move lockdown. If your opponent doesn't have post move lockdown, guys, which again, at the beginning of the video, I told you, if you're a point guard, shooting guard, uh, and you're just taller than the person defending you, and most likely, you know, guards don't have post move lockdown, you can actually just drop step um, your opponents even at, at the guard position. Now, it's, you know, the opportunities aren't really going to be there. But this move is just super effective because it's just really simple. So hopefully you're seeing here how it works. I'm gonna I'll keep explaining a little bit more. You want to hold L2, and again you want to get as best position as possible here. And you don't have to just you know go with your what well, he's holding the ball with his left hand here. If you want to switch hands, you hit up without holding sprint on the right stick, and you can you know seal off whichever direction you want. So we've been going here. We've been sealing off to the right side, and I flip hands here, and I'm going to seal off now to the left side by pressing the left stick to the left here. So you're pretty much pressing the stick towards the direction that you want to seal off. I mean, it, I don't know, eventually you kind of just get a feel for it after practicing for a while, but for right here, since I have the ball in my right hand, I want to press it towards the hoop because that's the direction I want to seal off with. And again, we, I didn't go right, right up with it, we still made it somehow. but. Uh, you know, you want to go up with it right away, and you, you know, you can, you can get out of the animation, and you know, if you can tell you're not getting the good animation, you don't, you don't have to shoot it, but most of the time you want to go up with it right away, because when you get a good seal animation, your, you know, your opponent literally cannot do anything with this. So, yeah, I definitely recommend getting as deep as you can, L2 and R2, at the same time, it gives you that aggressive back down. Again, I think Zubak has low strength, because look at this, we can just back him down as far as we want, really. Okay, it's going to take a little bit longer than I thought. But really, it's all about positioning and drop stepping to the right side. You can even throw in a couple, you know, little fakes here while switching hands if you're really advanced with it. And you can really see off your opponent. Again, he probably has Intimidator, but he doesn't have the post move lockdown because we're actually pushing him out of the way. So, it, I don't know. You can tell this isn't, you know, Zubak is not the best defender. And it's going to be kind of like this if you play park and stuff where you're playing a very... Uh, or if you have a very poor defender guarding you. So, guys, if you have any more questions uh, about this move, again, 
please refer to the hand cam. Hopefully, my explanations are, you know, you know, it's not too complicated of a move. Hopefully, I'm helping you guys out. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments below. Again, I'll try my best to reply to you guys. And uh, I, for some reason, don't. Usually, the comment section is really good at, you know, helping each other out. So go ahead, leave a comment. If you have any questions, if you're confused, I'll try my best to get back to you. Or the comment section as well can definitely uh, help you as well. So, guys, hopefully this video helped you out. If you did enjoy or you need, do need more tutorial videos on, you know, certain moves in the game, I do have a playlist. I will link below or at the end of the video. And uh, consider subscribing as well as I make these multiple tutorial videos. And I actually upload every single day in live stream every day. Uh, NBA 2K21, my team actually. So you're watching this probably playing Park in my career. But if you like my team or you, you know, you're from the my team game mode, definitely consider subscribing because that's the main game mode I do. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.